What's going on guys, Tempo here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to make a watermark in Photoshop CC or CS6. So first of all, you want to open up your Photoshop, then you want to click File, or then you want to click New. And after you do that, you want to click your, uh, you want to choose your resolution. So basically what this is, is how HD you want it. So the one I'm using right now is 720p. So 720p is width 1280 and height 720. But as I do record in 1080p, I'm going to put that to 1920 and then height 1080. And that's 1080p right there. And then I'll put the resolution to 500 to make it a big file size so it's pretty HD. But after using that, it should load up like so. Now, after it's loaded up, you want to leave the background as transparent. And if it's filled with like a uh, white background, what you want to do is make a new layer. So Control, Shift, and N and then press enter and that'll make a new layer then you want to delete the bottom layer and it'll make it transparent or you can just do file new and then you can just put this to transparent instead of white so that's a good method right there so now what we're going to do is press t on our keyboard and that will bring up the text tool and then you're going to click on your screen and what we're going to type in is your name so i'm just going to do tempo so the font I'm going to be using is, I'll show you in a minute, let me just spell this quick. So as you can see, that's Tempo right there. Now the font I'm using is uh, this one right here. So you can just look that up under font. I'll leave a link down below to the font. So you can just type in that name under font. So yeah, now we're just going to press enter or just click off the screen. And as you can see, it says our um, thing over here. And now what we're going to do to it is make a layer style. You can easily just get one of my layer style packs. And yeah, this is my layer styles I've got at the moment. It's a bit laggy because the amount of layer styles I've got. So if you guys want this pack, it's over a thousand layer styles in it. Um, just drop a like on this video, 50 likes on this video, I'll do that. So yeah, now what we're going to do is add a layer style to it. So we're going to double click on the right hand side. As I did, so you can just use a layer style if you do wish to. Uh, we're going to add a drop shadow and the drop shadow you can just copy down my settings, blend mode normal, uh, make it black, opacity 100, distance 3, spread 27 and size 35, you can just copy down the rest if you want to, um, go to gradient overlay and do the um, this default one here and then put that to 10%, it doesn't really do much. And then the scale 100%, make the blend mode normal. And yeah, now we're going to go to the inner glow. And the inner glow, I'm going to be using the blend mode as vivid light. Opacity 100, choke 16, and size 3. And the range is going to be 44, so you can just copy that down right there. And make it white, the colour white. So in the shadow, uh, we're going to go to that and just leave it like this. Just copy down my screen. Uh, blend mode normal, 100 opacity, angle 90 degrees. Uh, distance 28, choke 7, size 65. Now we're going to go to stroke, and the stroke is the most important thing here. So you can just copy down my settings right now. So size 7, um, position outside, obviously. Blend mode normal, opacity 100. And just going to click on this gradient thing here. So you're going to put fill type. Don't put it to color, put it to gradient while my mouse is here. So we're going to click on that right there. You can double click on this end and just choose whatever color you want. But I uh, did say in the video I'm just going to use this colour right here and yeah that's the colour that I used, this one right here uh, that my mouse is wiggling on right there. So I'm just going to click cancel out of that, put the angle to 90, style, linear, if I'm saying that right and yeah. So now what I like to do is press V on my keyboard and now I can select it and drag it around. I'm going to put that in the bottom left corner, as you guys can see down here or something I have like my watermark, I do like that new watermark that I have. And yeah, I'm just gonna stop speaking about that right now. So press Control T or go to Edit Free Transform. I've got that checked right now. And yeah, the shortcuts Control T if you didn't know. And yeah, hold Shift and drag that down to the size you prefer. So I'm just gonna drag it down to that size right there. I'm gonna angle it so it's like that, so it isn't in the way of the video or anything. So I'm gonna put the opacity down to 40%. And don't worry, guys, you won't be able to see it right now, but as you can see, it's there. Um, it'll be much more clear in the video. Now what we're going to do is save our um, document. So we're going to go File, Save As, or you can put Export and all that stuff. And yeah, we're going to name it Watermark. Uh, yeah, Watermark. And yeah, that's good. And now we're going to put this to PNG and save that. And then click OK. Now we're going to go to our OBS. And as you can see, I've already got one here. But I'm going to take that away real quick. Then press File, Add image okay 
uh, browse and then you want to browse um, um, your desktop or wherever you saved it so here you go I've got it right here now I'm gonna click on it or double click it and then press open and yeah now you can put the opacity down I'm just gonna put that to 90% as I did to my first one as you can see it's right there bit too big so we can press edit scene and now we can edit the scene we're gonna drag that down a little bit like so and then we're gonna uh, choose the position we prefer as you can see that drop shadow does do a lot there actually we're gonna right click on it go properties put the opacity 100 make it a bit clearer there we go that looks good guys so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like on this video 50 likes would be appreciated and yeah guys i will see you next time peace out